Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using ReactJS. And this is the progress as of now. We have designed uh, this hero section and also this topic section. Now in this video, we will design this info section. So this is how it looks right now. So we're gonna design this in this video. Let's get started. Right here, I'm in my source code and uh, let's go to the info folder and let's open the info.jsx file and here we can see we have already imported the info.css file and let's go ahead and start creating this component so if you go back to the figma file here we can see we have this element over here on the top left and then we have this icon and this uh, info and then we have another set of icon and info so let's go ahead and uh, let's see how to structure that let's go back to our uh, vs code and first of all, I'll just change this div into a section and we'll also give it an ID of info and we'll also give it a class name. Now in the previous video, we added some styles to all the sections. So if you go to the index.css file, here we can see we have different classes. We have this black class and in that we have a background color of black and then we have this dark gray class and for that we have the dark color as the background. So if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see for this section we need to have the dark color. So let's go back and uh, let's go to the info.jsx file and let's give it a class name of dark gray. Now for this section also we need to have a fixed width. So let's go over here and let's create a division. And uh, we will give it a class of wrapper. Because for the wrapper we have set a fixed width. Now for the content let's create a division and let's give it a class name of content container. And if you go back to the index.css file, here we can see that for the content container, we have set a display of flex. And so the elements inside the content container will be one next to the other. So let's go back to the info component. Now for this content, let's create a division with the class of info content. So let's create a division and let's give it a class name of info content. And in that we need to have this student icon, then we need to have this text and this text right here. So first of all, let's import these two images. So if you go to the assets folder and if you go to the index.js file, here we can see we have exported all these images and uh, here we have this uh, video icon and we also have student icon. So we need to import these two images. So here let's import them. Let's tap import and let's tap student icon and video icon from assets and uh, let's add that over here. So here let's create an IMG tag and uh, for the SRC, let's type student icon and let's close this over here. And the next thing we need to have is uh, the number of students. So I'll just create a division and I'll just give it a class name of amount. And uh, here let's type 23,000 plus. And then we have the text students. So for that, let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class name of type. And here let's type students. So now if we go back to our browser, this is how it looks. Right now let's add the other info content. So let's copy this division and let's paste it down here. Now here instead of student icon, we need to type video icon and then we need to have 26 hours. So let's type that over here. And then we need to have video content. So let's type video content. Right now lastly, we need to have this uh, image right here. So let's import that as well. So we need to have an image called BG element 2. So let's type BG element 2. And uh, here outside this division, let's create an IMG tag. And for the SRC, let's type BG element 2. And uh, let's also give it a class name of BG element 2. And I think that's it with the info.jsx file. And here we can see that all the elements in our component are displayed over here. Now let's style it using CSS. So let's go to the info.css file and let's add the styles over here. So we have a section with an ID of info and uh, in that we have this info content. So let's style that. Let's type hash info dot info content. And for this, we will set the display to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column. And let's also set the align items to the center. And let's set the width to 100%. And 
and uh, let's also add some gap between these elements so let's set a gap of let's try four pixels right now let's style this amount so let's go to our figma file and let's select this text and uh, let's go to inspect and let's scroll down and here are the styles so let's copy the font size and the font weight and let's go back and uh, let's select the element so we have this division with the class of amount so let's tap info info content amount and let's copy the styles over here and i think the font weight should be set to 800 because that's what we have imported in the index.html file so here we can see 800 so i'll just tap 800 over here right now let's go back to the figma file and let's select this text and uh, these are the styles we need to change the font family to allegria so let's copy these styles and let's go back and uh, here we have this division with the class of type so let's type info info content type and let's paste the styles i just remove this font style and here i'll also add serif as a backup font right now if we go back to our website this is how it looks now the next thing we need to do is we need to style this element right here so we will position it relative to the wrapper of this section so here we can see we have this division with the class of wrapper so let's select that i'll just type hash info wrapper and let's set the position to relative and now let's select this uh, bg element 2 so let's type hash info bg element 2 and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the top to 0 and the left to 0 and here we can see this is how it looks so with that we have styled the info section alright so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day